All right, guys, what's going on? I got a leg day for you guys today. There's nothing better than a leg day. It's where you find out so much about yourself mentally and physically because it is so taxing. I have a special treat at the end of the workout today. If you guys stick around, it'll be something completely new, something you have not seen me do a lot. So I hope you guys stay around for that. And just know, dude, if you're out there and you're crushing the gym today, you're already doing so much. And if you're doing a leg day, out of the whole population, so few go to the gym. And out of that population that go to the gym, so few actually go in there and crush legs. So if you're crushing legs today, just know you're going above and beyond. And that's awesome, man. And you're you're doing something right. So good for you and keep working hard. Let's go. I'll see you at the workout. All right. So we're starting it off right here with squats. And I want to I wanna say a couple things about this first. Number one, it was a super hot day. And number two, I did a lot of cardio the day before. I'm not saying that as an excuse by any means. I want you guys to understand that. I'm saying that as something that makes me even more proud of what this leg day eventually became. And if you guys don't know, I usually like to do 405 to start off. I can't do it for reps really. So I like to do one really solid rep and then a couple partials. And that's what that is, dude. One really solid rep, a couple partials, get used to the weight on my back, get used to the overload, get used to being more than I can possibly handle so that one day I can be able to possibly handle it. But back to what I was saying before, super hot, did some good cardio the day before, rolling in, felt tired today, dude. The lower half just felt tired. My knee was even hurting a little bit. And I went in here and I got under pretty heavy weight. And yeah, the first couple sets were tough. The first couple sets starting off this workout were tough. They didn't feel great. It didn't feel like it was all coming together, but I went in, I started anyways. And as the day progressed, it just started feeling better and better and better. And sometimes I think that's something that just happens when you're at the gym is those first couple sets of the day, they can just feel like so much. They can just feel like maybe it's even a little too much, a little too taxing. But as the day keeps going and as you get there and as you show up and as you keep continuing to take it step by step, rep by rep, you'll slowly fall into the rhythm and the whole workout will start to come together and you'll feel like you should be in there and you should be doing what you need to do. And that's one of the things that I even struggle with when it comes to like warm up sets is like, when am I actually warm and when am I going above and beyond and this is too much for a warm up set and it's going to take away from actual my actual working sets? Because I think that that's super hard to find that medium, especially like for me with bench press, trying to find a bench press one rep max. When do I actually finish warming up and move into the actual working sets? I don't know. Something that I struggle with. I don't know if you guys struggle with that too, but I mean, it's not a bad problem to have. You're in there, you're working hard. I mean, worst comes to worst, what? You work out a little harder than you did before. I mean, that's only a good thing. You're only moving in, in the right direction right here. I switched up the angle a little bit just because I put 315 on and I don't usually do 315 RDLs. Yes, deadlift. I go way above and beyond this. I'm a big deadlifter. I love deadlifting. Um, I've, I, you know, I've, I've done some crazy numbers on deadlift, but RDL trying to really keep those legs straight 315. Uh, yeah, I wanted to include that right here. Hip thrust. Bro, especially if you play a sport, stop skipping hip thrust. You get so much power from that and you just build that solid foundation, that solid base, that solid lower half. I mean, hip thrusts are kind of known as a female exercise, but why? They, it, it's because you're a man, you don't want a solid lower half. I it just, it has never totally made sense to me. I think that it's such a good workout. I was a baseball player, baseball, football players, especially. I wouldn't skip that. Um, you just get so much power from that base. And if you build your glutes up and you build that trunk, you're just building the foundation for something great to become of it. So I, I would seriously stop overlooking those. Dude, walking lunges here, dude, those are hard. Those are tough. I've been adding those in, doing a couple sets of those, walking all the way down, all the way back. And it's funny because when I started doing those, I just walked down and then I drop it. And one day I was like, you know what? I can do it. I can go down. I can come back. And I did it, bro. It felt crazy. It felt... You get to this point sometimes where you feel like you're at 100, but you never actually are. You have more left in the tank. And I feel like I feel like you have to be working out for a while to like understand where you are in regards to that 100% and how much you can actually push your body beyond that. Because I believe we can all push our bodies beyond that. We all have a certain threshold that we get to and you and you can push above and beyond that. And we all can. And here's the special treat for you guys today, dude. I did core. I do core sometimes, but I never really include it in the videos. I never really like talking about it. I'm just, I'm not a huge core guy. Um, I don't have fun doing it. Even, even cardio I've started to come around and enjoy to a certain extent, but core has just never been something that has been something that's fired me up. That's like really got me going at the gym, made me super happy. I've always been more about when I started weightlifting, I was really, really skinny, really, really undersized. So I've always been more about putting on size than losing it. And, you know, core is like correlation to abs. It's super important and I do do it, but I don't always include it. So a special treat for you guys today, man. Here's 
Here's a little core workout, just a nice little simple one. I feel like this is super easy. I like using weight for core because it just shortens the time length. I really have to do it because I get fatigued quicker because there's some sort of weight there. And this is still a pretty long set and I started it with weight. So I hope you guys enjoy that part of it. What's going on guys? I know I don't do this a lot, but this is a little cardio talk. Super hot today. This is the first time it's really been like 90 plus in a while. And there's way less people out here. I remember Greg Plitt used to always talk about how in the hot days in the gym with no air conditioning, there was way less people. But the thing is, is if you're one of those people, it just feels so much better to be out there. So I hope you guys all get out there today. I hope you all do something that you can be proud of and just keep crushing it, guys. Let's go. All right, so that cardio clip was actually from the day before this workout. I don't totally love to do cardio on um, on leg days just because my legs have already gone through so much. I want to give them the chance to rest and recover, but I wanted to include that. I forgot to include it the day before, but besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. I always appreciate it. Um, I have a lot of fun making these. I hope you guys learn and enjoy it and just find something out of it, whatever it may be. I hope you get something out of it. So thank you guys, and I will catch you guys in the next one, and um, keep working hard. See you guys this side or the next.